。OK， 大家好。OK， 今天我们主要就是讲这个啊、哦，那我把这个拉过来啊，不要，我要先分享这个，嗯。那我把这个 slide 放到这里吧。哎哎哎哎哎 ，OK， 嗯，这里哎 ，OK， share screen screen， OK， 在哪里啊 ？OK， 好 ，OK。嗯、um, ，OK， 所以今天啊， uh, 主要就是讲关于这个联邦医疗 Medicare，OK，、okay? 啊、uh, ，我今我自己没有太多的资料，所以我今天就找到一个叫 a p p r a i s e 的啊顾问啊，是啊 Daniel， 他会在这里啊，会跟大家分享 ，OK， 然后呢，啊、uh, ，我就是第一期上来的话，我就想跟大家讲，我们啊、uh, PCDC 不是政府机构，也不是。啊，社工 ，OK， 我们只是一个社区服务的组织，非盈利的 ，OK， 啊，我们现在都已经去，呃，我们都已经在这个公司上班了 ，OK， 可是我们就服，不要，先不要去我们公司，我们现在很多还是可以在网上做的，我们还是网上做，啊，我的同事就是在做服务的，我们全包搬到这里去做了，我今天我这周可能要在家工作，因为我孩子生病了。来啊，所以我们是搬到这里，所以不要过去这一这里了。OK， 先打电话给我们，然后再过去。OK， 啊，然后啦，啊，然后普查。OK， 这个我很久都没有去更新了，可是真的帮我把这个啊还没填的找出来，不然我们未来十年的资源都不够。OK。嗯，然后 ，OK， 啊、呃，我明天啊、呃，我可能最后一次跟这个啊、呃、服务中心联系，明天 ，OK， 因为他们现在处理的非常慢，我也很累，经常跟进他们，因为他们很多时候有很多人跟我说他们没有联系他们 ，OK， 所以我可能明天是最后一次把资啊把案件反而发给他们，可能之后我就可能先停止收集这些案件 ，OK， 啊、呃。有高中生的可以去参加这个啊，我们四点到六点的这个是免费的啊 ，SAT 课程，星期一跟星期三 ，OK， 所以希望大家可以鼓励你的高中生去啊，去就是去听 ，OK， 去参加 ，OK， 然后我想提醒一下，星期四我的同事他们有一个就是怎么把怎么把啊这个唐人街重新开放。OK， 怎么可以鼓励啊、呃、人去唐人街去，就是把就是恢复这个啊、呃、开门 ？OK， 所以希望大家一个有什么意见的话，可以一起参加。OK， 所以我今天呢就是想再向这个 Dan 啊、uh, Lewis，OK，、okay? 他其实是啊、uh, Appraise Medicare 的啊、uh, 顾问 ，OK， 就是这个联邦医疗的这个顾问 ，OK， 啊、呃，他在在里边是做义工的。OK， 他之前其实他很多学历的啊，就是他啊是那个啊主管，就是在那个啊 research， 就是去这个叫什么了啊，去找资料的。OK， 呃，就是一个医疗啊医疗教育的，还有健康的。OK， 他这就是一个还有还是一个专家，就是家庭还有社区的呃医药。在这个 chemo 的啊， uh, 在 Sydney 啊、uh, chemo medical college， OK 哈，在 Thomas Jefferson 里边的 OK， 然后他有教一个啊，做、uh, 教哪些医生学啊、uh, 学生的 OK 啊、uh, ，所以他是在这个已经是有三十年的经验 OK， 所以我现在呢就是想交给他，让他跟大家开始讲啊。Then I'm passing this to you now. OK, I will share my screen. OK. And.、Um, Thank you all for attending this morning. 他说啊啊，感谢大家来听这个啊这一个。呃 ，This is a picture of President Johnson signing the Medicare law 55 years ago. OK， 这个是五十五年之前，这个我们有一个啊以前的总统啊 ，Truman Harry Truman， 他。啊，另啊，他就是说啊，帮忙啊，就是签了这个联邦医疗，把这个啊，就是放进这个法律里边。In in the next few minutes, I will try to explain more about what Medicare is today. 
啊，未来几分钟，他就会跟大家说一说这个联邦医疗是什么来的。呃、uh, ，and most importantly at the end, I will give you some information about how you can get more help, who to call to get more help. If you need more information. Okay. 然后到最后，他会跟大家说，如果你需要帮忙的话，可以找谁帮忙。I think Ping already explained that I'm a volunteer, a prize counselor that helps people decide about Medicare. Um, 就是他就是说我刚才也已经介绍过他，他就是一个顾问，就是去帮人去确定啊，就是买啊，就是要哪一种的那个怎么选择这个啊，联邦医疗的。So today we will talk about what is Medicare. Okay. Just describe what Medicare pays for and what it does not pay for. I will talk about who is eligible to get the Medicare 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 I will talk about how much it costs. I will talk about how much it costs. And briefly, some programs that can help if you need if you need help paying for that cost. Then I will talk about what programs can help if you need help paying for that cost. And also, very important, the Medicare 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 And as I said, we'll I'll also talk about the prize program that can help you make those choices. Yeah, he also mentioned that the prize program can help you make those choices. Yeah, he also mentioned that the prize program can help you make those choices. Yeah, he also mentioned that the prize program can help you make those choices. Yeah, he also mentioned that the prize program can help you make those choices. Yeah, he also mentioned that What they call Part A covers hospital care. Um, 就是这个联邦医疗是分很多不一同不同的部分啊。Uh, A 部分呢、啊，它就是医院的保险。What's called Part B is medical insurance. So that would pay for the services from your doctor or other provider. 啊，然后这个 B 部分呢、啊，就是医疗保险 ，OK， 主要就是帮助就哪些帮帮忙，就是付这些服务，就像医生的服务啊，还有其他人的服务。And then a newer part of Medicare, about fifteen twenty years old, is Part D that covers prescription helps cover the cost of prescription drugs. 然后有一个最新的部分就是 Part D, OK? 它这个大概是十五到二十年前才有的，就是去付这个啊药的药的费用。So, how do you become eligible for Medicare? 啊，怎么可以合资格拿到这个联邦医疗了 ？Most people qualify when they reach the age of sixty-five years. 啊，大部分的人都合资格，当他们可以呃到六十五岁的时候。The the other way to qualify if you're not sixty five is if you're disabled. 啊，另外一个途径去就是得到就是如果你是啊残障的。Unfortunately, to save money, you have to be disabled for two years before you qualify for Medicare. 啊，可是就是很不幸的，就是如果你是想啊啊省钱啊免费的话，你必须要是拿到这个是残障的二十四个月才可以。The exception is if you have end-stage renal disease or ALS. 啊、uh, ，就是有的是，如果啊、uh, 有的例外的，就是说，如果你有这个叫肾病，是这呃中啊末期的这个肾病，然后还有另外一个叫 ALS 的病。Now it's very important that you understand how you enroll in Medicare. 
呃、啊，非常重要，你要知道你是怎么去的啊，就就是申请这一个啊，联邦医疗。If you're already collecting Social Security, you will be enrolled automatically. Okay, 如果你已经拿到这个失业啊，不是失业金，如果你已经拿到这个退休金的话，你会自动就可以得到这个 Part A 还有 Part B 的。Uh, if you're not getting Social Security, you'll need to sign up for Medicare. 如果你是没有拿到这个退休金的话呢，你是需要去啊，当你啊差不多六十五岁的话，你是需要去登记这个联邦医疗的。It, it, it ping. It doesn't say it on this slide, but it's very important that the people understand to enroll in Medicare. You have to contact Social Security, not Medicare. Okay, he is saying that ah, this ah, 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 Medicare has something called the initial enrollment period, and that's three months before the 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 month you turn sixty five, the month when you're turning sixty five, or three months after you turn sixty five. That's what's called the initial enrollment period. OK， 啊、uh, ，最初开始去啊、uh, 去登记的这个有一个期限的 ，OK， 这个总共是七个月，就是说你出生的哪个月之前三个月，然后你出生的月份，然后出生啊哪、uh, 个月份之后三个月加起来七个月，这七个月就是说啊、uh, 最开始可以登记的期限。But、we recommend signing up early。他们就是建议是提前。Okay. Now there's something else called the special enrollment period. Ah, 另外有一种叫特特别的登记期限 And this is for people who don't enroll when they first turn sixty-five. Ah, 这些就是给那些啊没有去登记，当他们六十五岁的时候，他们就是错过了没有去登记 So, for example. If you're still working and you have insurance through your employer's health insurance, you don't need to enroll in Medicare Part B until you stop working. 他说，就算有些人如果六十五岁没有退休还在工作的，他有这个雇主的保险的话，他不需要去登记去啊拿这个 Part B。And then, if when you stop and you want to enroll, you have eight months special enrollment period. Ah,、uh, 就是当你停止上班的时候，你就是有八个月可可以去登记。Ah,、uh, I think this is too complicated. Yeah, this is too.、Uh, but can I actually jump in and ask a question? Because I saw your last slide. I talked about Part B. How about Part A? Part A. Because most people get Part A for free if they've paid into Social Security, you you can get Part A when you turn sixty five, even if you're still working. No reason to not get Part A. Okay, 我刚才就是问，因为他们他现在这一个 slide 里边只说 Part B， 我问他能不能 Part A 了，他说 Part A 通常就是不用。如果你是有付这个 Social Security 社会安全的税的话，这个 Part A 他们的，就算你是还在做工的话 ，Part A 也是自动给你的。But only if you pay Social Security tax, right? Right, right. You have to have paid for ten years or forty quarters. Okay, 就是啊，他说就是如果你是有足够十年啊，拿到四十个那个啊学分退休的那个分分的话了，你这个 Part A 就是自动给你的。Okay. Okay.、Uh, if you miss those periods, you can sign up any time, any year.
So if you forgot or for some reason didn't do it, there's a final thing called the general enrollment period. Uh, if you miss the, the initial or the special, the trouble is you can sign up, but there'll be a delay. And also you will pay a penalty. You'll pay a higher Part B premium. Okay, 他就是说, 如果你错过刚才说的, 就是之前之后加起来七个月，然后你啊是啊，如果你是有雇主的那个啊，就是完了之后八个月，OK，你就错过了，OK，你是还是可以去登记一月到三月，每年都可以登记，可是你的这个啊这个啊开始这个生效期
there's a deductible, which means that you pay the first $198 for doctor's services. Okay. 然后它 B 的 B 部分呢，就是说啊，呀，有是有一个叫 deductible， 就是你先付的啊，就是在二零二零年可能你要先付一百九十八块钱之后，它保险才帮你付。And then you pay twenty percent of the Medicare allowed amount for covered services. 啊，然后有一些医疗服务的话啦 ，OK， 如果他是批准的话 ，OK， 然后你是自己需要付二十个 percent 的。So to explain this, Peg, if I go to the doctor and the doctor bills a hundred and fifty dollars to make up a number,、mm -hmm. Medicare doesn't care what the doctor bills. They say for this visit, the Medicare allowed amount. Is a hundred dollars, for example. Then they pay eighty percent, and I have to pay twenty percent. Okay. How about the other fifty dollars? No one gonna pay for it. Yeah, the hundred and fifty. What the doctor asks for doesn't matter.、Mm. It's Medicare allowed amount、mm. for、okay. my visit, and then Medicare pays eighty percent. And either I or my supplemental insurance, which I'll explain later, pays the other twenty percent. Okay. He just gives an example. Is to say, if you go to a doctor, the doctor says, "Oh, this bill for the first bill is one hundred and fifty dollars." Okay. Then, no matter how much the bill is, the doctor says, "Oh, this bill for the first bill is one hundred and fifty dollars." Okay. Then, the doctor only pays eighty percent, and the other eighty percent is for you. The remaining eighty percent is for you to pay yourself. Okay. Then, in addition, remember for Part A there was no monthly premium if you paid Social Security. Part B instead has a monthly premium, and that monthly premium. In this year, in 2020, is $144.60 a month. If your income is $87,000 or less, if your income is higher, you pay more money each month. 刚才就是说 Part A 的话，如果你是工作够四十个点的话，你就不用付这个月费。可是 Part B 的话是根据你的收入来判定啊，要收你多少的月费。So just want to clarify. So this um uh premium is based on the income in 2018 for this year. That's right. It's based on the income two years previously because that's the latest tax return they have to review. Okay, so so it is to say, if you are now in 2020, it is looking at the income from two years prior, 2018. So if you are a single parent, if you are paying for the first one is above 87,000, then you have to pay the other one is one hundred and forty-four dollars six cents. If your income is higher, your tax rate is higher. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't. It doesn't matter what your retirement income is. So they look. Well, it, it there is. If you want to explain, there is a way to appeal, because sometimes, when they look at your income from two thousand and eighteen, and then you retire, your income goes down.、Mm -hmm. You can appeal that decision, and it's very easy to do,、uh, to do the appeal. So, so and. You, and so,、uh, There are reasons that you might say, "Well, my income in 2020 is lower. Like I retired, and now I have less income." So you can appeal, but if you don't appeal, it's based on your income from two years before. That's this is good to know because as you said, very important to know. Yeah, very. I actually did it because it's a perfect example.、Mm -hmm. When I retired.、Uh, Of, of, they based my Part B premium on my income when I was still working. Well,、mm -hmm. then I retired, and I was one of the the reasons that you are allowed to appeal is retirement. And all I had to do was was document that. It was very simple: fill out a form online, send it in, and then they reduced my Part B premium. 
，OK。就是我跟他说，因为啊，他就是举个非常好的例子，就像我们如果是二零二零年已经退休了，然后拿这个 Part B 的款，可是如果你看二零一八年你在工作的时候 ，OK， 有可能你工作的时候给你现在退休的是收入比较高的，所以他就是说你可以啊，但就是说你应该要上诉。上诉填一个很基本的表，他让你上诉的唯一原因就是说，如果你是退休 ，OK， 然后你就是在里边，就是说你现在二零二零年的退休金是没有那么多 ，OK， 这样子的话，他看一下你的退休金，看一下你现在的收入，然后他就会把你的月费就是降低。我想很多我们的中国人是不知道了 ，I can I can guarantee majority of our Chinese speaking people they do not know they should appeal. Yes, it's very, we can help with that, and it's a very it's very important. They can help. 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 OK， 然后就是还有一个是 Part D 的 ，OK 是加上去的，这个 Part Part D 的是要的 ，OK 也是根据收入来判定你的月费是多少的。And this also, if you appeal, the appeal covers both of them. You don't have to do it twice. 如果你上诉的话呢，他是看他都会看你是帮你一起就是 Part B 还有 Part D 的，你不需要一个部分一个部分的去上诉。Okay, it's it's very important that your members understand that there there are significant penalties for both Part B, as we discussed <coughs> before, and Part D if you wait to、uh, enroll. Okay. Um. Then actually, can I actually um? I see a couple of questions being asked. So just uh, so people can understand better later on. Of course.、Um, yeah. People are asking. I think we mentioned a little bit at the beginning. People are questions about what Part A, Part B, and Part D are. Okay. Part A is hospital care. So that pays for the bill from the hospital. Part B is the physician. Or other practitioners' services,、okay. including, you know, other outpatient services,、mm -hmm. and Part D is prescription drugs. Okay, 就是我看到我啊，在我看到里边就是经常就是有人去问，我就是想希望大家啊，一开始的时候我们有提过一点 ，OK 啊，就是所以说医这个联邦医疗是非常负责的 ，OK。Part A 是这个医院的医院的费用 ，OK。如果要住院啊，啊，就医院的 ，OK。Part B 的是这个啊，医生的这个费用 ，OK。医生服务的费用 ，OK。还有就是其他可能申请这个啊医疗啊，就是用具的 ，OK。然后 Part D 的是药的药的部分，所以是分开不一样的 ，OK。OK。So、uh, I think can you actually go back to this one now? Yes. Okay, so if you wait to enroll in a drug plan,、uh, you you will pay a penalty unless you have what's called credible creditable coverage from someplace else. 他就是说，就像那个 Part B 一样的 ，OK， 就是说，如果你就是去了参加的话 ，OK， 他们是除非你有，另外有其他。有其他药的啊保险，不然的话它是有罚款的。So for example, Ping, I did not have to start Part D because I at sixty five because I kept working until I was age seventy, and my employer provided prescription drug coverage. Okay, 他就是说，举个例子，就是说，如果他六十五岁的时候他还在工作。啊，他工作到七十岁，然后呢，他的雇主是有这个药的保险的话 ，OK， 所以他们就是不需要，他就不需要去申请这个 Part D 的。And I think one thing you should emphasize, Pim, 
a lot of people make the mistake of thinking, well, I don't take any prescription drugs, therefore I don't need a Part D plan. That's not true, because if they don't enroll, there's a penalty when they do decide they need to enroll. So there are a lot of, there are a number of Part D plans that have a very low monthly premium, and but it's worth enrolling. You have to enroll when you first become come eligible, or you will pay a penalty. 他就是说，呃，他就是期望我可以就是，呃，就是重点跟你们大家说，有的人认为说，哦，我都没有吃药的，我不需要这个第一部分的 ，OK。可是他就是说，如果你就是该去登记的时候没有去登记的话，他们是有一个 percent 的这个啊、呃，就是去罚罚你的。其实外面有一些是很小很小很便宜的这个药的保险。你就是登啊登啊，就是这个一 percent 是，如果你到时确定真的需要这个第一部分的话，再再去申请的话，他们就会收你收到你一个 percent 的。所以他就是说，爱边有一些是非常便宜的这个药的啊药的这个啊保险的话，你是可以去啊申请的。OK， I I think this is okay. So, uh, the question is. As you saw from the previous slides, for both hospital costs, doctor costs, prescription drug costs, Medicare doesn't cover everything. So most people buy some kind of additional insurance to help pay for what Medicare does not pay. 就像刚才说了，就像医院的、医生的、药的这些，他们就算联邦医有联邦医疗了，可是也不一定是全包都帮你付的。所以有的人是另外自己在买另外一种，就是去找另外一种保险，就是啊，就是一起。And this is a very important decision that one is going to have to make.、Uh, I'm sorry for the. Illustration to American baseball, but a very famous baseball player, Yogi Berra, said, "If you don't know where you're going, you might not get there." Ah, he is saying, so this is a decision that is made by the U.S. government. He is using a American baseball player to say, "If you don't know where you are going, you might not get there." From from my perspective, from my perspective, Point of view of Medicare, there are really two paths, and one needs to choose one of these paths to get additional insurance. 关于这个联邦医疗的，主要有两条路。OK， 啊，你这就是需要选一条的。So you can start with what's called original Medicare, which includes Part A for the hospital and Part B for the physician. 你可以开始的时候就是用它最原本的、最基本的这个联邦医疗。这个联邦医疗就是有啊，有 A 部分就是医院的保险，还有 B 部分的这个啊医疗的这个保险。And then you can add a prescription drug plan Part D and a so-called Medicare supplement or Medigap insurance plan. 然后你可以去加一个叫第一部分的这个药医药的保险，医药的这个保险啊，然后也可以就是加一个叫 Medicare， 就是联邦啊联邦保险，就是啊啊这个补助的啊保险，就是叫 Medigap 的，就是 Gap 就是 Gap 就是说一个中间有一个啊有一个啊缺口嘛。The other choice is. To choose a so-called Part C or Medicare Advantage plan. You 就是可以选，也不然的话，你不走哪条路的话，你可以去走另外一条路，就是说买一个叫 C 部分的，这个就是说联邦医疗，他们叫好像是叫优势计划 ，Advantage 优势计划。And a Medicare Advantage plan usually combines Part A, Part B. And prescription drug coverage in one plan. 
这个通常就是说 A， 它就是把这个啊 A、B 跟 D 全包加加在一起的。So let's take a look, and and you cannot do both. You have to be on one side or the other. If you join Medicare Advantage, you can't have Medigap. 就是说你啊，你就是既可以选一样 ，OK， 你不可以说我拿到这个啊联邦医疗的优势计划啊 C 部分的，然后又要去拿这个叫 Medigap 的 ，OK， 这个是不可以的，你只可以选一条路。So how do you decide? Okay, can you actually um just I think someone was saying that um so medic gap is not federal, is from the insurance, right? Say that again, Ping. Uh, someone on the I think on the chat say medic gap is not from the federal, is from the insurance. No, neither medic gap nor Medicare Advantage are federal. They're private okay. insurance companies. Okay. 啊、uh, ，就是说啊， uh, 刚才有一个人在里边已经说了，也是一样的。OK， 他啊、uh, ，Dan 就是说这个 C 部分跟这个刚才说的 Medigap 这两个都不是联邦的医疗，这个都是保险公司来的。And just to follow up on that question, a lot of the companies that you've all heard of, Aetna, Independence, Blue Cross, United Healthcare, etc., Cigna. Sell both Medigap insurance and also Medicare Advantage plans. Okay, he is saying that there are many insurance companies, such as Aetna. What other company Aetna? Independence, Blue Cross. Independence, Blue Cross. 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 Blue We urge you to call or contact a prize to help making this decision because it's a very important decision to make to choose. And I'll, I'll quickly I'll show you that there's no right answer for everybody. You and I talked about this before. Everybody has to make their own choice. 他就是说，是非常重要的。你究竟要选的是 Medigap 还是选这个优势计划？他说，他之前也跟我说过，就是说没有一个是对还是错的啊、uh, 答案。OK， 呃、uh, ，就是每一个人的情况不一样。So how do you choose a Medigap and、uh, a plan? So here are some of the differences. In both cases, if you look at the first row. You have to have both Part A and Part B. Okay, he is saying how to choose. Okay, here there is a table that says what the difference is. He says both are required to have A and B parts. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan, they usually have a network of doctors and hospitals. You may need referrals. They look very much like. The health insurance that many people have when they're working. Ah, if it's the advantage plan, advantage plan, the plan, ah, you, it has their network of doctors and hospitals that you need to use. And you go to the hospital, ah, the doctor sometimes needs a new one. Just like the regular healthcare provider. If you if you take this choice, Medigap. Medicare plus Medigap, there are no networks. You can only go to any doctor or hospital in the country that accepts Medicare. Ah, he is saying that if you are Medicare, that is, a regular home line card plus this Medigap, then you can basically use any doctor in the country to accept Medicare. You can go to Medicare and you can go to Medicare. Uh, most Medicare Advantage plans include prescription drugs. If you have a, a Medigap, you have to buy a, pres a separate prescription drug plan. Ah,、uh, 就是优势计划的话，通常就是已经包了这个药的吧啊药在里边的。可是如果你用这个红蓝卡加这个 Medigap 的话呢，你需要另外再买这个 D 部分的去这个药的保险。
uh, this is an important. Uh, okay, okay, just one second. Um, Hongnan Ka, I said Hongnan Ka, it's just to explain the 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 Hongnan Ka, it's Okay. I'm just explaining like because uh, in our in our terminology, sometimes we call uh, we call uh, the um, federal the Medicare as a, a red and blue card. Yes, so, Medicare has a yes. red, white, and blue card. Yes. Yeah. So when I was using the short term, there's people asking questions about what it is. So I was just trying to explain that. Right. Right. Everybody should have, if they're eligible, should have a red, white, and blue Medicare card. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think the, the uh, Medicare Advantage, and I'll show you, there's a website, a Medicare.gov website, where you can actually pick your Medicare Advantage plan through the website. For Medigap, it, it doesn't work that way. You have to call the plan directly or go to a broker, and but we can help you it's with a prize. Okay,他就是说，如果优势计划的话呢，你可以自己也可以想去这个Medicare.gov上面去买这个优势计划。啊，可是如果你要就是用红蓝卡，然后再加这个Medicare的话呢，你可能啊，你没办法，不可以在
然后说多少钱呢 ？OK， 他说就是所以所以啊，你需要知道啊，就是 Medigap 的话呢，通常他的月费是比较高的。OK， 啊、呃，那个 advantage 啊，游戏机块有可能是不需要钱的，可是有时候就是根据每一个人的他的啊、呃、他的情况，有可能啊宁愿付一点点的这个月费，可能啊、呃、就是长远来看的话，比这个游戏机块还好，所以没有说好的还是不好，就是要根据每个人不同的状况来看。OK。This is the same as the slides. I just put this so you can give this to your people if you want to. This okay, this is 基本上，这个基本上跟刚才的一样，它只是把它放在一起，让大家可以看。Okay, so first I'll talk about Medigap plans, and then I'll talk a little bit about Medicare Advantage and Part D drug plans to show you how to do it. 他现在先讲这个 medic gap 的 ，OK， 就看到这一个 gap 嘛 ，OK， 有一个啊、呃、空间 ，OK， 然后之后就他会讲啊、呃，提一提这个优势计划，还有就是这个啊、呃、第部分的药的。So, yeah, as we said, you need help. So they they are standardized plans. They're private insurance companies. OK， 这一个 Medigap 的话，它是啊、呃，就是已经常规的 ，OK， 什么啊，都、呃、常规的，已经就是规定的啊、呃，福利在里边的 ，OK， 然后它就是被啊这私人保险公司卖的，可以跟他们去买。If you have a Medigap plan, it would, for example, pay that twenty percent that was not paid by original Medicare. If you remember the twenty percent coinsurance. Okay, he is saying that. He is saying that if you have a Medicare plan, he may give a part of it. Maybe ten percent. That is, the private hospital pays eighty percent. The rest of the ninety percent, he may give a part of it. Then he may give a part of it. Medicare plans sometimes cover. Some other costs that are that original Medicare doesn't cover, like uh, uh, emergency care when you're traveling abroad. Okay, the Medicare 的计划呢有啊，就是有可能就是付这些啊，联邦医疗不帮你付的啊，这个医疗费用。就像如果你是去啊旅游的话，如果要捐基金池的话，他就可能帮你付。Yeah, that I already said. Medigap plans are standardized, and I, I apologize for how complicated this this slide is. But this, I, I <laughs> this is uh, the way it is. So you see the letters across the top. He is saying, "Um, this." 就是啊，很抱歉，就是这里看上去好复杂，可是它真的好复杂。OK， 嗯，它就是说，你看它上面有一些 A B D G K L M N 的这些字母。And it's important to know that、uh, when I say standardized, it means that the benefits of, for example, a G plan are the same for every insurance company. Okay, 他说啊，这个是常规化的 ，OK， 就是规定化的 ，OK， 所以就是一个 Plan G 的话，不管你去哪一个保险公司，这个 G 的计划还是一样的。And I can't review everything. The check means that it's paid. So this, for example, a G plan pays the hospital coinsurance. It pays the Part B coinsurance. So I. I, I think the the best thing is for people to just take get a copy of this chart or get it from Medicare and understand what the different plans cover. Okay, he said he has no way to do it exactly the same as everyone else. Okay, just look at this chart. G, for example, it is possible to pay the Part A of the Medicare coverage, ah, the coverage of eight percent. 
，OK， 然后呃可能付帮你付 Part B 的这个共付费 ，OK， 啊、呃，所以就是看就是最好就是哪一份呃可以分享，我我到最后 ，So、uh, do you mind if I share this PowerPoint、uh, to them later? No, of course, please. OK. Okay. If, uh, if, uh, you, if you translate into Chinese, please send me a copy. <laughs> I don't know if I have that time. Okay. He is saying, "I asked him if he could share this information. He said, 'Of course, I can.' Then he said, 'If I can translate it into Chinese, it would be the best. I can give it to him in Chinese.' I said, 'I don't know if he has the time. So if anyone is willing to share the information, please send me a copy. I'm just trying to recruit volunteers to help me do that. Okay. 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 Okay, no, of course you can share the slides. Yes,、yeah, thank you. So, how, when you're buying a Medicare plan, what do you need to consider? Which plan, which letter plan do you want? I mean, the better the coverage, the more it costs. But rem, but remember, within a letter, every insurance company is the same. OK， 他就是说你要买这个 Medicare 的 plan 的话呢，你要选哪一个字母的计划 ？OK， 通常呢，呃，你就是啊、呃，如果他包的东西越多的时候，他这个月费就是越高啊。可是就是最主要你要记住，就是说他不管你这个字母的计划是哪一个公司，他包的东西也是一样的。So we can help you with a prize. We want what you'd like to do is look at the, how much it will cost, also what the increase in cost might be, and you can decide what Medigap plan you want to choose. And we can help you with that information. We have、uh, a website that that we use that can、uh, tell you what the premium would be for your Medigap plan. 他就是说，你基本上要看要看他的这个费用是多少，然后他的啊、呃、记录就是历史，就是增加了通常是大概多少，然后你可以选是哪一个公司，啊、呃，他们 appraise 基本上有一个网站是可以就是上去看，然后告诉你啊、呃、这个计划是多少钱的。Okay. So as we talked about, you have to do it in the first six months. 刚刚才说了，就是六十五岁的时候头六个月，你就是需要去申请的，要参加的。And if you apply later, there's no guarantee that they will accept you. 如果你六个月之后才去申请的话，就是没有保证他必须要接受你的。But they may. So、uh, you might be able to apply later on if and still get accepted. So I think it's important to explain Ping the difference between there's no guarantee, but it is possible, and it doesn't hurt. You can try any time you want. 嗯，他说说呃，他就是非常重要，就是说他说不保证他会收 ，OK， 可是也没有说啊不收 ，OK。所以如果你是啊，你来一个之后晚了之后的话，你随时也是可以去试试看的。OK。Uh, that important. Now, there's a very good new website called at Medicare.gov called the Medicare Plan Finder, and this is the website that that you could use to choose either a Medicare prescription drug plan or a Medicare Advantage plan. He is saying there's a very good website called Medicare. Care.gov. Okay, it 里边就是可以找一个啊优势计划，也可以去找一个药的啊低部分的计划。We strongly recommend creating an account on this website. It's like any other website. You go in and you create a username, which we suggest using your email address and the password. And that gives you the ability to do a lot of things. If you enter information, you have it again. So we strongly recommend anybody with Medicare creating an account on the Medicare.gov website. Obviously, it's free. 
他就是说，建议权利者建议大家，如果去这个网站的话，就是呃切一个账户，这样子的话，你自己打的基本资料的话，都会留在这个账户里边。你下一次再进去的话就，就啊还在保留在里边的。这些网站是免费的。Okay, so let me show you. Uh, I'm going to show you some screenshots that I took from. Uh, so my search for a drug plan or a Medicare Advantage plan. He is showing us, ah, let everyone see. He is showing us a few pictures. How to find a drug plan or a Medicare Advantage plan. Okay, so let's look at the first one. 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 Uh, this is my information. This is his account. And since I have an account, it knows my prescription drug plan. This is Well Care Value Script Prescription Drug Plan. PDP stands for Prescription Drug Plan. OK， 他就是说，他里边有说，他现在的保险是什么保险？就是这个 Welcare Value Script PDP， 就是说 Prescription Drug， 就是药的保险。And this is saying it's asking me what do I want to look for. So first, I'll show you the example of searching for a new drug plan for next year. 他就是说，他里边就是问他，你先找什么类型的保险？ OK， 呃，这个就是说，因为你选了这一个，就是说你下一年打算去找重新找一个药的保险。So I just check that box. I put in my zip code, and it, it came up. It knows I live in Philadelphia after I put my zip code.、Mm -hmm. And now you all know how old I am. 他就是说啊、呃，你选了保险啊、呃，哪一种保险之后，你把你的邮区打进去，它自动就找出来说在费城的。然后下边他说大家现在都知道他是年几，他的出生年月日是哪一天，他多少岁了。And because I have an account, it actually knows which drugs I take. Okay. 然后因为他因为他有账户在里边，所以他里边都知道他吃什么药。So I just want to know. So when you say that the, um it has your、uh, what drug you take, is that pull from the insurance or you have to manually enter it in the first? No. Time? If 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 the drug has been paid by Medicare, it knows about it because、oh. I I filled it and it was covered by my prescription drug plan. So I don't have to manually enter it. Oh, okay. He is saying because you have filled a bank account, I just asked about the drug that you need to enter. Is it from the insurance company or from the insurance company? He said because he has paid the insurance company. He said because he has paid the insurance company. He said because he has paid the insurance company. He said because he has paid the insurance company. He said because he has paid the insurance company. He said because he has paid the insurance company. He said because he has paid the insurance company. He said because he has paid the insurance company. Uh, so, for example, I can add drugs if I think I'm going to take something new, or I can delete drugs, and that's very important. For example, when I before I did this, I had surgery on my shoulder last year, and I received a prescription for, at, of、uh, antibiotic after the surgery. Well. I don't expect to need that drug again next year, so I took it, deleted it from my list of drugs. Okay, he said, "Is this is very easy to use? You can also add drugs, or you can also delete some drugs. Just like he had a surgery on his shoulder last year, so he thought he would need it again next year. But if he doesn't plan to take it again next year, he can delete it and delete it again." So after I put the drugs in. I can then tell it which pharmacy I want to go to, so I can I say I want to look at both mail order, Washington Square near where I live, or the Jefferson Pharmacy. Then he will choose. Ah, have this drug after he will say, ah, you want to which pharmacy to which pharmacy. And then it, it it gives me this information. It tells me. 
the monthly premium for the plan, the uh, and the the details of the total estimated cost from a mail order pharmacy or retail pharmacy uh, for the year. And then. 他作为走出来说，他的这个现在如果没有不改的话，这个药，这个药的保险是下一年是多少钱？如果去哪一个药房去拿药的话，是多少钱 ？So this is my current plan, and then it gives me the information for other plans that I might choose to change to. 然后他刚才说，就是他如果不改的话，然后他要会说哦，之后如果他改另外几个。And you can see the difference in the cost depending on where you get it, and then I can make a comparison for the three plans. Then he can also make the three plans as a comparison. And he can also make the three plans as a comparison. With this information, I can make a choice about what I should.、Uh, Choose for the following year. Then, according to this, we can choose which insurance to choose. Ah, which insurance? It's very important, and I'll say this again later, that everybody evaluate their Medicare drug plan every year during open enrollment. You can change it every year. It's not necessary that you change it. But definitely, one should consider changing it because you might save a lot of money. He is saying it's very important. Okay, it is said if everyone can change it during the period of open enrollment, which is from September 15 to September 7, to look at if there is any insurance to compare, to do a comparison, it is very good. You don't need to do it every year, but he suggests that everyone can look at if there is any insurance to compare. I mean. I, I, for example, I have changed my Medicare drug plan every year that I've been on Medicare. He said he himself has every year changed the drug insurance plan. And honestly, my savings were small, maybe eighty or a hundred dollars a year. He is maybe his ah, is not much, not much. Is about eighty to one hundred dollars a year. But I, I did this analysis for a neighbor of mine, and he saved two thousand dollars this year. 可是他就是帮他的邻居做了这一个啊，就是评估 ，OK？ 然后他帮他可以省掉就是两千块钱一年的。So it's very important that you. 这是非常重要的。Uh, if you want to, so that's the drug plan. Choose a Medicare Advantage plan. It's the same website. You can see you would just check the box that says Medicare Advantage plan. He is saying, "Just like the drug, you can buy the drug plan, buy the drug plan, and change the drug plan. You can choose the drug plan." And you. It gives you similar information about the plans, but you have to do your homework because Medicare Advantage plans have networks of doctors and hospitals. You need to make sure that your Medicare Advantage plan, if you choose one, includes your doctors and the hospitals that you want to go to. 他说啊，就是跟你呃，如果你选了这个优势计划的话，去找优势计划，基本上也是一样的。可是他说你必须要做一个功课，就是因为他有的医生啊，医院的话呢，啊，你要知道他们有没有参加这些计划，所以需要打电话给你的医生。Okay, so I I want to say again, if you Already have Medicare and have a Medicare Advantage plan and a drug plan. You need to review it each year, and the the question about why is because maybe you can save a lot of money and get better coverage.、Uh, there was a, a study saying the insurance companies they know that people don't look, so、uh, they raise their fees. 
and people don't bother to change. So it's very important to look at it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the nine million people are facing higher premiums if they keep their 2020 plans. OK， 他就是说 ，OK， 如果你是有这个联邦医疗保险的话 ，OK， 啊、呃，你不需要每年都改，可是他认为你应该去看一看你的医疗还有药的保险，每一年都去看。为什么需要看呢？他说，啊、呃，有一个数据调查，就是说，如果你啊啊，保险公司是知道有些人是完全不看的，所以他们有可能每一年他把这个保费就是增加，因为增加了也没有人去管。OK， 啊、呃，他说大概有九亿的人是啊、呃，可能那个保险就是啊，如、呃、果根据呃还是保啊、呃、保楼他们上一年的话，他这个就是越来越贵。So what's important? Remember the Medicare annual enrollment period is October 15 to December 7th every year. You can change your Drug plan or, or your Medicare Advantage plan or your prescription drug plan. He said there are some important events. September 15 to September 7, which is you can change your this Advantage plan, which is you can change it, you can participate. And then, if you make the change, your new coverage begins January 1st. If you make the change, you can start on January 1st. And there's a new thing. There's a, a three-month period. If you decide you've made a mistake and you want to change back from January one to March thirty-first, you can make one change if you're not happy with your Medicare Advantage plan. 然后他一月一号到三月三十一号了。如果你是啊、呃，可以做一个更改 ，OK。如果你就是申啊、呃、参加了新的，你不喜欢，你想改回去的话 ，OK， 你也可以选另外一个，你可以就有一次的机会去更改。Now we don't have time to get into too many details, but as we talked about, Medicare doesn't pay for any everything. And the premiums and co-payments and deductibles are expensive. There are some programs to help pay these healthcare costs. 他就是说，我们都知道，刚才说了这个联邦医疗 ，OK， 虽虽然有联邦医疗，可是还有很多其他的费用是好贵的 ，OK。所以他说，其实那边有一些有一些计划是可以帮忙付这些费用的。So one program called the Medicare Savings Program helps pay that hundred and forty-four dollars and sixty cents Part B premium. Okay, 有一个叫联邦医疗啊，就是省钱计划。Okay， 它就是帮忙付这个 B 部分的这个月费，一百四十四块六毛。There's another program called Extra Help that can help pay the Part D, which is the drug premium. Uh, okay, and then there's another program run by the state of Pennsylvania called PACE or PACENET, which also can help with prescription drug costs. 然后另外有一个是州政府的，叫 PACE 还是 PACENET， 它就是帮忙付这个药的费用。And all of these programs have different requirements for income, for assets that you have, and there are other eligibility requirements. And then I didn't put it on the slide, but of course some people will also qualify for Medicaid in addition to Medicare if their income is low enough. OK， 然后他说这些计划全包都是有收入的，还有其他条件的。OK， 然后他没有放在这个屏幕上，就是有的人啊、呃、拿到这个联邦医疗，其实他也可以申请合资格申请政府的那个免费医疗的。A ping, if you need, and I think it would be useful for to have more information. David can send you more information, or even organize a, 
a, a separate presentation about the different programs to help people pay the healthcare costs. Um, yes, I think I, I will try to schedule one with him. Uh, yeah. Patrick, uh, David, David is a real expert on these. Mm, yeah. And again, a prize can help people determine their individual eligibility and can also help with the applications. 他就是他们的机构处于的刚才说的选择的医疗保险的话,他们也可以去帮你判定你是可以合资格申请哪一个机块,然后也可以帮你去申请的。Okay, so I have a final examination, a test to see. So everybody understand part A is hospital care, part B is physician services. Part C is Medicare Advantage, and Part D is Prescription Drug. Okay, you understand the cost of Medicare. And the, the choice that you have to make of either staying with the original Medicare plus adding a drug plan and a Medigap plan or signing up for a Medicare Advantage plan. Okay, 第一个就是楼在这个红蓝卡,这个联邦医疗的,然后再增加一个可能第一的药计划还是Medigap,还是就是不要这个联邦医疗,就是选择这个C的部分就是优系计划。So, I, I realize how complicated this is, and I think it's Personally, I think it's crazy that it's so complicated. It's crazy that you need people like me to help you understand, but there's nothing I can do to change the system. Uh, what, what we're here for is to try and help understand this very complicated system. 他就是说,OK,他这个系统,他明白这个系统是非常复杂的,就是非常疯狂,就是说,可是他也没办法去改这个计划,所以他就是说,Appraise就是可以帮忙。And this is, a, a prize is part of a national program called the State Health Insurance Assistance Program, or SHIP, uh, where volunteers who are trained to counsel about Medicare. Uh, everything we do is confidential. We don't get paid, and we don't get paid by the insurance companies. And every information that you give us is private and confidential. 它是一个全国的计划,就是提供一对一的这个机芯,就是顾问,然后帮助你选就是哪一个计划,然后还在宾州的话呢,这个计划是叫做appraise,主要他们都是一些义工就是抽到这个培训,就是去提供一些资料,
of Carey or Einstein, depending on the where they live. Okay, he is saying, ah, he is to remind me to send some phone calls to you. He says the best is to send to the local phone call, not to the local phone call. The local phone call is to call the Carey or the Einstein center. And as we talked about before, Ping, maybe you can talk to David about the possibility of、uh, how translation services would work for your members that need it. Okay, yeah, ah,、uh, 就是这啊、uh, ，Daniel 是因为之前我跟他聊过，如果是不懂英语的话，可以怎么样？所以我可能要跟进，跟 David 跟进一下，看看他啊、uh, 是怎么可以提供这个语言帮忙。So thank you very much. Uh, and I'm happy to try and answer any questions. He said, "Is he now can answer some questions? Actually, he before he told me that usually we only one hour. They say one hour is not enough. I'm just telling them at the beginning usually our sessions is one hour, but I think David told me one hour is not enough, so we extended this for longer.、Okay. Yeah, so we have、uh, ten minutes for." Questions. I'm happy to stay as long as you want. <laughs> 他说有十分钟可以回答问题，然后如果我们有更多的问题，他也愿意再留在这里回答。啊，第一就是提醒大家，没有帮我填这个登录表表格的话呢，可以先帮我填一下。OK， 因为这样子我才知道谁参加了。OK， 然后呢，啊、uh, ，So I'm gonna just look at the questions. 啊，二嗯，二军 K， 我看到有一个举手举了很久。二军 K， 你也可以问问题啊。对呀、啊，我要问问题，听到吗？听到了。OK， 呃，我想问，有我有四个问题啊、哦。这个第一个问题就是刚才那个呃 ，Mr. Louis 说是，他 Medicare， 嗯、呃，这个 Part B 的部分是嗯呃,呃，工作的时候是呃可以可也可以买，但是我是问就是说，如果六六十五岁以后。人家不工作，只是你自己有公司，呃，这个在报税，那这个没是不是也可以买没得给旁边呢？所以你你说的是旁边，你说那个费那个 premium 月费，如果工作的话可以免掉。如果他六十五岁以后啊、呃、没有工作，可是他还是他是有自己生意的。对。OK， 可不可以这个 B 可呀可以免掉，对不对？啊、对对对。Okay, so ah、uh, Dan, so I think his question number he has four questions. So the first question is ah、uh, for the Medicare Part B. Okay, I think we mentioned that if people work enough, like forty credit, um, the premium can be waived, right? No, 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 no. That's Part A. Oh, that's Part A. He says it's A part. B part is based on income, right? Yes. The only way to get the Part B premium waived is based on your income. 他说就是，啊，他就是说 Part B 的话呢，是比啊看啊根据这个收入来啊判定你这个月费是多少的。哦 ，OK。对，所以不管你工作不工作，它是根据你的收入的。OK。好，第二个问题就是刚才说的 Part B 的话，如果自付费太高的时候可以上诉。那这个上诉应该在哪里上诉？找谁上诉呢 ？Okay, so I think he asked about premium for Part B. Uh, I think we talk about appeal. Uh, where can they find the form to appeal? And the Social Security Administration website. Uh, okay. 他说在啊在啊。Yeah, if you can, uh, I I can find. I'll I'll find and send it to you. Okay. 他说他为呃，在这个啊公啊 Social Security 他的网站上面有一个 appeal 的表格。他说他会找一些，然后发给我。I'll I'll I'll find the pin and I'll send you a link to the form. Okay. 他说他会找一些，然后他会把这个链接发给我。Okay. 好。诶，第三个问题就是，可能大家很多不知道的，因为我我那个做二证券我知道。呃，现在红蓝卡的话是可以看呃中医针灸的，就是原来的话它是不准许看。刚刚一月份刚通过的是可以看中医针灸的。呃，我我是想问什么时候呃他会就是说具体可以执行呢？就是也就是说什么时候我在红蓝卡可以
可以用于中医中医。So then I don't know if you know this answer though. Uh, well, uh, Simon is from uh, urgent care uh, in Chinatown, so that's why he's asking a really good questions. Um, for the Medicare, he know there was a law. Uh, it was passed that it now will cover um, the herbal, um, the Chinese herbal uh, doctors and also acupuncturists. Um, do you know when um, when this can actually execute? I don't know, Peng. I, I had heard that. Mm -hmm. I know about acupuncture being mm -hmm. covered with some restrictions. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know the answer okay. to that question. Uh,对,所以他说他不知道,他有听过说真真就了,是可以增加在里面,可是有限记的,可是他如果,呃,就在长俊一点的,他不清楚。这个我知道了，我知道，我知道，我就问一下。我最后一个问题就是，你稍等，稍等，我最后一个问题就是，我有一个，我有两家的这个老人中心，我想就什么时候开业的时候，请那个Mr.Lawrence来跟老人讲座
OK， 他就是我刚才问有的人说，只要 Part A 不要 Part B 有没有 ？OK， 可不可以？他说可以，可是如果你不啊、呃、不登记 Part B 的话，当你想要的话，他这个就是有罚款，就是更高的。But so is there any consequence if they don't get Part B? I mean, there, there also remain maybe it's un, unclear. In the United States, if you go to the hospital, the the bill from the hospital is paid by Part A. The bill from the doctors that take care of you in the hospital is Part B. So you, you, <laughs> the only good reason for not taking Part B is if you have other health insurance、mm -hmm. that that will cover those costs.、Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's very very important that、mm -hmm. you. And if you can't afford it, again, there are programs that can help you. But there's no good reason other than. Alternative insurance for not taking Part B. Okay, he 就是说你就是如果你去啊、uh, 进医院的话 ，OK， 对 Part A 是可以保你就是留院啊，在医院里边。可是另外如果有医生帮你做治疗的话，这些费用就是 Part B 的。所以你只有 Part A 的话，你 Part B 的时候，真的费用是没有人付的。所以他强烈建议是有要需要有 Part A 跟 Part B 的。OK， 好，医生就。OK 啊、uh, ，然后啊 ，OK。我有一个问题啊， uh, 你可以等一下，我刚才都咀嚼个一个 ，OK， 你等一下 ，OK。OK 啊 ，OK，Someone asked, can I switch Medicare provider after six months? You you might be able to, but they can ask you after six months.、Mm. They can ask medical questions, and it's up to them to decide.、Okay. It、okay. is possible. For example, I switched my Medigap after six months、uh, to a different Medigap insurance company,、mm -hmm. but I had to pass the their medical questions.、Mm -hmm. Okay. 他就是说是可以的，可是就像他刚才说的，你如果在六个月之后再去卷另外一个 Medigap 还是去登记 Medigap 的话，他们有权去问你一些健康调查啊，然后看看你之前有没有什么啊，就是啊病啊这些的。如果你过不了的话，他们有权拒绝你的。OK， 啊，他说他其实有也有卷，可是他就是通过了他们这个医疗的这个评估。OK。啊、uh, ，OK， 啊、uh, ，I was I get potential， 嗯 ，OK， so so um someone asked so reach sixty five retire and then roll in Medicare program， but after two years， OK， go back to work， get a part time job， OK， um so does that income need to report to the Medicare department and will Part A B D coverage change？ Uh, probably not. I, I, you don't have to report your income. No, that's not a, a problem.、Uh, it, it, the only thing would be if your part-time job is now providing health insurance, you might be able to stop paying the Part B premium、mm -hmm. if if the coverage is good enough. So、mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a very complicated question. Yeah, but I think, um, but I will say that probably the premium might be changed because the income is changed, right? Well, yeah, that's true. But a part-time job, it's unlikely that the premium is going to go up very much.、Mm -hmm. Again, the, low, the lowest premium is one hundred and forty-four dollars and sixty cents a year. So,、mm -hmm. uh, part-time、mm -hmm. job. I mean, of course, you can look at it, but okay. OK， yeah， 啊，这个问题就是六十五岁退休了，参加了没？然后啊，这个联邦计划两年之后找到啊，兼职 ，OK， 啊，需不需呃，这个医疗有没有改变？我我的我啊，他就是说啊，应该医疗上面没有什么改变 ，OK， 可是我就是可以跟你说，如果你是有拿退休金，还是这个，因为你收入有增加的话，有可能你这个月费是会增加了 ，OK， 所以这个是有一些。问题的 ，OK 啊、uh, ，OK， 现在我想看到这个李满付美费城 ，OK， 李满你是可以说话。嘿，嗨，阿平你好，你好
啊、uh, ，我想问一下哈，一个老人家六十七岁，但是他还在做工，呃，他来了五到六年左右吧，那可以申请那个那些老人老人那个红蓝卡吗？医疗保险那个。Okay. So then, so um, there's a senior sixty-seven and still working, um, but he just got he's a new uh, he's a he immigrated to United States about five to six years ago. So can they can she get like Medicare? That's very complicated. If you, if you're haven't paid for forty quarters, you of so of Medicare part of Social Security, you you uh will have a Part A premium. If you, I believe the rules are that if you are a, a U.S. citizen or Legally in the United States, for five years, you are eligible for Medicare, but you might have to pay a Part A premium because you haven't paid in for enough quarters. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, you know, the somebody with this kind of situation definitely would need to talk to a counselor about their specific situation. But I believe the rule is five years of.、Uh, Being a, a citizen or a, a legal resident, yeah. I think、States. I think if they are five,、uh, they live here more than five years. They will、uh, with low income. They will be qualified for Medicare. Yes, if they have well, five years would qualify them for Medicare. If they have low income, the the Medicaid will pay the Part A premium. Okay. Um. So, so all they, the, okay, Part A and Part B, right? Yes. OK， 他就是说 OK， 因为他不够四十个呃、啊、工作分 OK， 所以他如果申请这个红蓝卡的话，可能这个月费 Part A 部分跟 B 部分的这个 premium 可能需要付钱。然后我跟他聊的时候就是说，低收入的话，五年之后的话啊，低收入就是可以申请政府医疗，这个政府医疗的话就可以帮他付这个呃、啊、月费。啊、uh, ，那意思就是他一一定呃有四十分是吗？阿培，他需要四十分这个 A 的部分才可以不用他付钱。哦、oh, ，明白。但是也可以申请是吗？就是那个费用贵贵一点。对，可以申请。So they can um. So I I think I I know there's some misconception in our community. People are saying if you don't apply for Medicare when you're sixty five, uh, you will get penalty for that. If if you if you don't apply for Medicare Part B when you're first eligible, you will pay a penalty. If you don't apply for Part D when you're first eligible, you will pay a penalty. So when you want to get it, you will pay. Okay. Yeah, okay. you will pay a penalty. It, I mean, you you have again the exception thing is very important. I did not apply. For, I I. I Got Part A when I turned sixty-five, because I had paid in all the years.、Mm -hmm. I did not start Part B until I retired when I was seventy years old.、Mm -hmm. I did not pay a penalty because I had other health coverage,、yes. and I had to prove to Medicare、mm -hmm. that I had that other health coverage, both、okay. medical coverage and drug coverage,、mm -hmm. and therefore I paid no penalty. OK， 他就是说 ，OK， 他就是嗯，就是想，就是再重新说，就是 A、B、D 是分开的。如果你工作够四十个分 ，A 都是自动给你的 ，OK。然后 B 的话呢，如果你不去申请，你够年纪了，你不要申请，你不去申请的话，当你想申请的时候，他就是有这个罚，就是增加在这个这个罚款是增加在月费里边的。所以如果你说的那个老人家已经五六年的话，他是可以去申请这个。啊、um, ，这个红蓝卡 ，OK， 这个啊，联、uh, 邦医疗就是可能需要付这个月费。可是我认为他如果低收入的话，他可以再申请这个政府医疗出去去帮他付这个月费。啊、uh, mm -hmm. 啊，那陪我想问一下，呃、uh, ，你那边可以帮忙申请这个吗
，我们有帮人申请政府医疗，可是我们没有帮人申请红蓝卡，所以啊，这个联邦医疗，所以我认为你啊，可以，如果他你是。有办法找到别人帮忙翻译，我不知道他现在有没有办法找到翻译，也是可以联系他们，让他们啊，就是跟跟你讨论一下这个选择。啊，那有没有电话或者网站呢、啊？可以上去。啊，他们有一个网站，他们有这个电话，我的，到时我在微信群里边会把这个啊，他刚才今天用的，他最后一页有他的地地啊，有这个电话。啊，好的，好的，谢谢，谢谢，好。So I'm just telling you like um the last uh the last uh, slide uh we have has the contact information that they can contact. Yes. Do you want me to put it back or? Um no, I'm gonna send it on uh, on our channels. Okay. okay. Lisa, Lisa, do you have a question, Lisa? Yeah. Can I ask now? Yeah, yes. I do have a question. Uh, after I reach sixty five years old, uh, initially, I, if I select original Medicare plus Medigap. Can I switch to Medicare Advantage uh, the next year or year later, or can I switch between at the beginning of the year? If you are in a Medicare Advantage and the next year or the year after, you can always switch from Medicare, from, excuse me, you can, if you, I, let me start over. If you start with Medigap when you turn 65, every year at Medicare annual open enrollment, you can switch from Medigap to Medicare Advantage. You can always go from Medigap to Medicare Advantage every year. You may or may not be able to go the other way it, okay. because they can do the medical underwriting. So it's not a problem. Easy to switch. You, if you stay with original, start with original Medicare plus Medigap. And then in two years, three years, five years, you decide you want to go to Medicare Advantage. That's okay. During the Medicare annual open enrollment period, you can switch to any Medicare Advantage plan that you want. The other direction, you will have to undergo medical underwriting. Is, is that clear, Peng? Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah can you translate uh, that? Because this is very important. Lisa's mm -hmm. question, very important. Maybe translate for the other people. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in addition, if original, I select original Medicare plus Medigap, and the second year I switch to a Medicare Advantage. The third year or the year later, if I want to switch back to the Medicare uh, uh, Medigap, so my health condition need to be reevaluated, right? That's correct, okay. and they may deny you coverage. You okay, may not be able to get it. OK, thank you so much. I got it. OK, so I just want to explain to you the question. It's very important. 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 啊、uh, ，then 就是说你是可以改 ，OK， 你每一年在这个 open enrollment 就是十月到十二月期间是可以啊，就是把你的计划改成这个 advantage 啊，优势计划。可是如果你是想改回去这个从这个优势计划改回去这个 Medigap 的话。有可能就是要重新让他们去评估你的健康状况，你要通过他的健康这个啊评估才可以。OK， 不然的话有可能他们拒绝的。OK，OK，、okay. okay, thank you, Lisa. OK， thank you so much.、Uh, I have another question. I think I have one more question. So OK, can I ask one、oh, more question? One more question? Yes. Uh, yeah, sure. uh, for Medicare Part D, it is required to buy at 65 years old without penalty. D A B C D drug plan. It's not B B D Part D drug plan. You have to buy it when you're first eligible if you turn sixty five, unless you or you will pay a penalty, unless your employer 
or, or some other situation provide you with credible coverage. So for example, I have a friend who was in the army and he gets his drugs through the Veterans Administration. Mm -hmm. The Veterans Administration drug plan is considered creditable coverage. So he does not need to buy a Part D drug plan because he's getting his drugs through the Veterans Administration. And if he, at some point, he changes his mind, he can go back and buy a Part D plan without a penalty. Okay, but it. It's similar to Part B. If your employer or somebody else, a retirement plan, a, a Veterans Administration gives you drug coverage and it's good enough, which is called creditable coverage, then you can wait without penalty. Okay, if so not, my situation is, yeah, I got it. My situation is uh, because I used to work for the drug company they do cover the medication for free for the company's medication. So I do yeah. not have to buy a Medicare Part D. So, but Part B, I have to. Uh, Part D is optional. So my question, yeah, you already answered my question. I have to give the proof that all my companies will pay for my medication. Right. So, well, okay. your but Lisa, your company, actually by law is required to tell you if you call the human relations HR department at your company, they're required to tell you whether the, their drug coverage is considered creditable coverage or not. Okay. Got it. Thank you so much. 啊,就是啊,所以刚才Dan就是说,啊,如果你是有其他的,啊,就是,啊,相等的这个药的保,保险就算,如果你雇主有提供的话,你可以不买,到你没有的时候再去,啊,买就是可以,就没有罚款的。can yeah. I add something else? Yeah, sure. it, it's it one thing people people should understand is that there are a number of Part D D like in Dan mm -hmm. drug plans that have very low monthly premiums. Mm -hmm. So the, the you can get a Part D plan for as little as about fourteen dollars a month. So I think it's it's very important that people don't wait. Don't don't okay. say, well, I don't need a drug plan because I don't take any drugs or I only take not expensive drugs. Mm -hmm. But you you know, it's worth investing that fourteen dollars a month to avoid the penalty mm -hmm. in in the future. 那就是说提醒大家, OK 所以不需要這個低部分的 OK 他說最便宜有的是大概14塊錢一個月 OK I just want to also make a uh, I know that there's people well honestly a lot of low income people if they are able to qualify for Medicaid um, so a lot of time, I believe the premium for the Advantage pre, uh, uh, plan are, are zeros. That's correct. Okay. 我就是想跟大家说,就是如果有的低收入的话拿到这个红蓝卡之后,啊,这个联邦医疗之后,如果他是合资格拿到这个政府医疗的话,这个政府医疗,啊,就是,他就是可以拿到,有时候去买这个优
。OK， 他就是说 ，OK， 他啊，我就是问 Dan 有没有最后几句，他就是说啊，他说大家都问的问题很好 ，OK， 啊，他就是说就是看呢、啊，就是有问题可以打啊，他我等一下会分享的这个电话号码。啊，我分享我是分享分享在我们 PCDC 的微信群里边，所以如果你们是其他群的话，可能你需要就是跟我们的那个微信，我的同事要求把你拉进群，不然我这些资料我没可能去啊其他群的都去发，我只发在我们自己的微信群里边。这个是我刚才发出来，就是我们 PCDC 的微信群。OK， 啊哦、啊、不是，这个是我们的网站。OK， WeChat， 我们的 PCDC 的这个是我们的微信群，所以可以叫我同加我同事，然后叫他拉拉你进去。啊啊，当然就是说非常感谢大家。OK， 啊，有问题可以打电话去找他们啊 ，Appraise 的啊那些顾问。OK， 啊、uh, ，So thank you, Dan. Thank you very much, Peng.